So we're talking with Tyson Steckline with Kerpoof. It's free multimedia tools for K through eight. Kerpoof.com. Okay, Tyson, tell us tell us all about the product. So it's a website, uh, Kerpoof.com. Right. When you come here. It's all flash-based technology, so you shouldn't have to install any software unless you're using an iPad. Um, iPad. These won't work on iPads, unfortunately, because it's flash and web-based. What if you're using Photon? Have you ever used that browser? No. Oh, we'll have to try that after we turn this off to okay. see if it works. Okay. Sure. Um, so we have six activities in the various ranges uh, from K through eight. So the okay. grade appropriate levels are in the upper left hand corners. I'll go ahead and show you make, make a movie. Okay. When you start with make a movie, you choose a theme to begin with. And so what we're doing here is we're teaching the kids what? Um, it's actually like a high level programming language. Okay. And um, I'll get into that here in a sec. I'll go ahead and choose fairy tales and start with the background. When I come to the website here, I have a library of objects that'll fill in over here. Okay. And I can simply drag and drop characters in, so the big bad wolf, for instance, with him you, selected. And we can resize him. Yeah, you can resize, you can rotate, and reposition the character. Okay. And we do respect uh, perspective depth, so he gets larger as I move him forward. Okay. Uh, with this character selected, I can then move a uh, move command to the timeline, and I'll take two seconds to get to destination A. I'll hit OK, and then I'll give him a destination A to go to. Um, I may actually have him say something as well, so I'll put a say command on the timeline, so when he gets down there, he can say hello world or whatever he wants, maybe. Hola muchachos. We can do How's hola. That? We can make him our Hispanic wolf. There we go. There we go. Muchachos. There you go, all right. You get that spelled right. So what I'll do is go to full screen mode, and then I'll hit play. And you'll do the move command first, and when he gets there, he'll say hola muchachos. All right. So you can imagine layering in multiple characters into this scene. I've got another scene already built out. So you're actually also teaching them things like uh, what they could take over to stuff like uh, when they start doing like iMovie and mm -hmm. things like that, when yeah. they start using uh, layers on layers of stuff. Yeah, so. get familiar with the timeline. Um, and so how this relates to high-level programming is, this pig, for instance, I've instantiated this object that has methods associated with it. Uh -huh. And these methods I put on the timeline so that you can imagine that is actually writing out the functions in the code. And very iteratively, this will go through the timeline and play each method. So as it hits each method, um, it'll execute. And they can tell stories. We have fading in, fading out, titling, and you can add more scenes to the end so they can tell as much That's story. awesome. Is there a time limit? For There's not a time limit. So they could make like a three-hour movie if they wanted to, it, like Steven Spielberg or something? It, it could happen, and it would take a long time to do that. Saving Private Wolf or whatever, yeah. <laughs> sure. They could do that. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. We also have a storytelling app. Um, so you can have a storybook mode where you can do page by page, and you can fill out this page. Right now I have the inventor's theme selected. Um, I have a list of characters I can use, um, like... Edison, Benjamin Franklin, and so forth. Uh -huh. Lots of backgrounds to choose from, objects, as well as text bubbles and text fields. Um, it's fully dynamic, so I can move this stuff anywhere I want on the page. Okay, so once a student creates something, what happens to it? Um, they can either, from this app, they can print this out. They okay. can print out a series of pages. They can take snapshots or JPEGs of all the pages. They could also save and share this stuff if they want to make a user account. Okay. All I ask for is a username and a password. So the uh, what did it save as? Right? Is what format does uh, it JPEG. save? JPEG. JPEG. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do the animations save as? Um, the animations we actually just dump out a URL so they can come back to the movie at any time. Oh, okay. We are they are they safe forever and ever and ever? They are. We have servers that back up all of our information. All of the user data is saved. Okay. So like. Uh, even if they haven't been bothered in six months or a year, yep, they we have still stuff. save them? We started in 2006 and we still have early scenes and drawings from 2006. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. So, okay. So, I have to ask this. It's free. It is. It's free. So, uh, what's your business model, dude? We're, uh, we're owned by Disney now. <laughs> well, that, that's beginning. a nice business model to <laughs> <It> have. <is. laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to keep it free as long as we can. Um, a lot of teachers use our software. We have lesson plans that are associated with it as well. So the teachers can come here, download PDF documents, and figure out exactly how to teach, for instance, the life cycle of a butterfly. Or we have a master artist series where you can look at works of M.C. Escher or Van Gogh. And uh, we just describe pretty much what's going on there with those guys. And That's pretty sweet. And so, uh, plans for the future? What are the plans for the future? Um, Besides being owned by Disney, I mean, what the? That's pretty sweet. Um, right now, we're just worried about getting more assets into our apps that we have. Um, okay. Our newest app being the Tell a Story. Um, just flushing out this with more themes. 
Um, so constantly adding assets and things that um, teachers can use to really teach a lesson a little bit better, so gearing our stuff towards teaching. That's pretty sweet. Okay, Tyson, if they want to get a hold of you, you just go to kerpoof.com. That's the way to, and you're the boss? You've uh, you no, invented I'm actually, this? No, uh, I'm just uh, the animator on staff. I was the first staff artist back in 2006. And uh, since then, I've moved up to senior staff artist. Dang. So, uh, um, and so now I'm a staff animator. Did you so. make out sweet when Disney bought you? Did, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't the founder, but I was one of Yeah, the you're okay. Okay. You're not like cleaning the toilets anymore. So. No. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Tyson, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Yeah.